Okay, so let's talk about drawing the driver. It's possibly the most desirable shape that most amateur golfers want to try and hit. And the main reason why is because most amateurs, I suppose, fade it excessively and slice it. So trying to understand ways in which that will help you draw the golf ball is very beneficial. One of the ways, and probably one of the simplest ways you can do this is to fundamentally understand the concept of tilt. Now again, this is something that I do across every club. So before those of you that ask the question whether this is just specific to driver, then the answer would be definitely not. What happens with driver on that sort of notion is that basically the idea is that we're trying to hit the ball off the tee to compensate for the less loft of the club that we're using. So that means therefore if we're trying to hit it off a tee we need to hit the ball on the up part of the golf swing and the easiest way to do that is just to move the golf ball further forward. As the ball moves more forward that is obviously going to encourage this upward hitting but generally the swing kind of stays the same. Now what are your hips doing that is possibly going to have any sort of influence on having the ability to draw the ball? Well, again, it's this tilted motion. So when I get set up and that golf ball is in line with, say, my lead ankle, and then I get myself set up, you can see the way my right shoulder is going to be lower than my left shoulder in that address position. So if you now drew a line through the centre of my head and through the centre of my lead foot, this would be the tilted angle that I'm referencing. Now, in the backswing position, what we need to do is we need to basically just rotate. So I rotate around that tilt. As I initiate the downswing, I might shift a little bit towards that lead side, again, to emphasize that weight shift, maintaining that tilt, and then I rotate around that tilt. Rotating around the tilt, if I swing from this perspective, is basically going to have this sort of effect on the swing. If I go more vertical with my head position on my spine, see where everything goes. So the tilted motion fundamentally not only kind of paints this nice picture of hitting up the ball from here, but it also gives you the ability to control the downswing and not get too steep. So it's an important thing. Now, how are your hips gonna help you therefore produce a draw is while well, they need to help you maintain this tilt. So if I put the hands across the lower part of my stomach and go into my posture, what happens with a lot of golfers is they sway or they move too much towards their trail side in the back swing. So if I sort of do that, what happens is that basically your hands become sort of too horizontal or more specifically your pelvis becomes too horizontal. So now if you drew that line, it's gone. What you want to do is you want to get the feeling of pointing your pelvis down towards the floor. So as I turn back, you see the way I point my hands down towards my right ankle. And then as I rotate this way, you can see the way that helps encourage this tilted motion. From here, that gives me an ability to just shift my pressure towards the lead side and again, rotate more around that tilted axis. And that's ultimately what we're fundamentally really looking for, is turning the pelvis down towards that leg and then transferring through because it helps maintain that sort of tilted angle. 100%, this is exactly what should happen. Now, what I wanted to do is just talk specifically a little bit more detail about it. Now, when we're rotating, I'm just trying to encourage you to rotate pretty centrally. And if you're gonna video your golf swing, you're obviously gonna look at it from a two-dimensional perspective. So if you were to draw a line on the outside part of your trail leg, what I'm basically saying is, guys, I don't want you here, definitely don't want you moving that way what should happen is we should move slightly away from that line. So if you turn your pelvis correctly downward, okay, and you do it in a rotational manner, what should happen visually from a two-dimensional perspective is it should look like everything moves towards your left side. Okay, that's the key thing. As I do that, keep my head still, that maintains that sort of tilted angle. Now, I'm gonna carry on this theme, weight pressure. So what should happen in the back swing, as I would say with the driver, you get 60% of your weight pressure in towards your trail heel, but don't neglect what's on your lead toe, okay? Because as I swing back, if I get like 40% of my weight in towards my lead toe, it maintains a good structure on my left leg. If I kind of let no weight go on towards my lead toe, this leg will collapse and see what's happened again to my hips. I've gone back into this vertical spine angle, which is gonna become problematic. So you really want to try and maintain this good sort of structural movement as you're sort of swinging back. So it's kind of like turn my pelvis down and towards my right ankle, get 60% of my weight towards my trail, trail ankle and 40% in towards my lead toe. That means this has enough weight on it to help me support that tilt. I can shift the weight back onto the lead side around that tilt and then swing through. So yes, it stays the same. Obviously the big difference between say my driver and equally say like a mid iron is just the setup position. So with my driver, I'm gonna be here and with my iron, I'm gonna be slightly narrower in the stance and I'm gonna be more here. 
that's the difference in the tilted motion but the swing concept would stay exactly the same whether you're trying to draw it or hit it straight you get set up you turn down and then you can move this way and then release it on the way through equally it's a key thing it's something that you really want to be doing let me know how you get on i'll see you soon